Tim Hellman. And I'm John Muche. This is Movie Talk. Today we're going to review the movie Violent Venus Episode Zero, also known as Venus Life Trap. It's a short film directed by Joshua Lee Frazier. He um, did it for a 48-hour film contest, but then they missed the deadline. So now he's hopefully going to submit to some other film festivals. He probably could have got it done if people a... weren't sleeping on the set. No, that wasn't me. It's my fault. I did some camera work on the movie. I was supposed to be the lead director of photography, but I didn't know his camera at all. His is like a small new Sony, and um, there was another guy that knew the camera better, so he actually did the lead work. And Isn't I, there a button on it, I red, that says record? It's more complicated than that. So I ended up being assistant, and I left halfway through filming because they didn't really need me. So how can you say that you weren't responsible <laughs> for it being late? When they were transferring the final file, they lost all the special effects they had done. Oh, that's nice. So they had to redo it. Because the special effects were pretty The special safe. effects were awesome, all the math symbols and everything. And the I couldn't understand the math symbols, but I liked the uh, explosions through the forest. It was pretty good forest. for a no-budget movie. That was a pretty hot blonde in the lead. She was. She, uh, you know, she I heard I heard she's nice got over a thousand friends on Facebook. I think 900 and something. You heard you're one of them. And I'm one of them now. All right. So um, we're here at our friend Dave's wedding, getting ready for it. What did you think of the bachelor party a week ago? Bachelor party was awesome. I got to be the designated driver. And that's what you wanted to do? <laughs> well, no, but... That was the funnest position. Somebody needed to step up. Nice, I don't like to talk nice about order. things that happen at bachelor parties, but since you brought it up, mm -hmm. I will most definitely talk about you at the bachelor party. Tim decides that he's going to basically sleep in the strip club. He goes to the... I didn't to the decide to us. <laughs> Stay well, you wouldn't go out to the car and sleep where most people would have thought that would have been oh, a yeah. wise thing to do. He's at the stage falling asleep. <laughs> well, he's getting a lap dance, and he wasn't asleep, but he just were like to... looking away from her. No, it was wasn't. like this girl here, and he's like, I was bashful. That's how I am when I get lap dances. <laughs> God, most guys get a little chubby when they get a lap dance. Yeah. I did that too, but. So what about Hard Candy, the first place we stopped? The girls are better and stuff. God, the girls were awful at the Hard Candy. They were way better a week earlier. Yeah, and the crowd was awful, too. Shift. The crowd was like a, a, a reject motorcycle gang that had that had so much... Well, like, these guys were so... These guys, like, they, their, their vests, they had to, like, tie their vests with, like, locks of some stripper's hair because <laughs> they'd put on so much weight that they're, they couldn't, like, button them together. Yeah. And so they, they were, like, spread apart. Um, well, that's Salem. That's expected. It was Salem. Well, that's the girls, we, we, we came up with a, uh, maybe it's not a new phrase, but we, we dubbed the strippers the C-team um, because they all had cesarean section scars hmm. on their bodies. Like, every single one of them. And one did a trick where she could sit on your leg and pick up the dollar with her ass. Yeah, and then drop it. Then That's why you do not do the next one. You do not snort drugs with one dollar bills, right? Yeah, you use hundreds. This place was incredibly bad. She tried bad. to do it with her vagina on me, but she couldn't pull it off. Picking up a dollar. Yeah. So if if you so take anything away from this movie review, do not go to Hard Candy in and Salem, Salem unless you really want to see some gross stuff. Maybe on a Saturday afternoon, though, like I did. Yeah, I could tell some stories from the bachelor party, but like I said, the only reason why mm -hmm. Tim brought it up, you know. What happens at Hard Candy stays at Hard Candy. What can I say? You just gave up a bunch of information about it. Well, I, t I didn't talk about people specifically and what they did. The strippers. <laughs> I didn't, well, yeah, but I don't care about I them. I didn't name any names. Well, I don't care about them. Oh. No, what I'm saying is I'm not going to tell. Uh, it doesn't even matter who was there. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, there was a lot of lap dances that went down. There was a lot of... Nate... Well, I'll tell this part. Nate had um, a... He went to the bank and got a full stack of ones that was wrapped, like a hundred ones wrapped mm -hmm. in a... Oh, that was pretty sweet. Oh, yeah. That's a good way to start it off. Yeah. Problem is, when you buy a beer for 20 bucks, they sell it to you for four, and then they give you $16 in ones. Mm-hmm. And, and every third one smells like ass. Yeah. That's why you don't use ones. That's why you don't smell the to money. snort drugs with. Yeah. That's why they call it dirty I don't money. snort drugs. <laughs> um... <laughs> you don't start drugs? Nope. So yeah, that ba the batch party wasn't as good as the pre batch party that I went on the oh, before. Oh, I didn't go to that one, so it was better for me. Maybe it was just better because I was awake and had energy at that one. There was a girl that um, gave me asthma, 
ass face, she called it. Oh, yeah. She jumped up on the bar. Wait, did she say your face looked like an ass? No. She, she stuck her ass in your face. Stuck her ass on my face, you know, had me stand up and jumped up on the bar and sat on my face, basically, and shook her ass. Did in. your nose touch her? And then, wait. Well, she... Wait. What was that? Oh, I was just seeing that. Oh, uh, no. There's some poop. But she'd rub her ass in your face. <laughs> First, she asked me and our, our fr my friend Nate, um... <laughs> What do you want, ass or vagina? Ass or vagina? And I was like, what? And You're all ass, so of course. Like, vagina. So she was like, okay, stand up. She was telling me. And then she jumped up on the bar and did that. And then the next time we came up to see her, she was like, I already gave you an ass face, right? And I was like, what? She was like, oh, you're silly. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Isn't that a great story? You know what? That would be a good superhero uh, name, ass face. Yeah, well, that's her specialty. I liked it. You know, we should go tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Do a post wedding. Post wedding party. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I I sent a message to all my bros that said, "Who? Why wait to get married to have a bachelor party? I'm gonna I'm a party bachelor. Like I'm gonna bachelor every day. every day. Yeah. Your bachelor, yeah. That's right. So anyway, the movie. What what rating do you give it? Um. Well, let's see here. Taking everything into consideration, the mm -hmm. fact that the that the only movie, five minutes five minute long. long movie and and that it was made and it's to be continued. 58 hours or whatever they did it. Uh, bottom line is, given that that you were involved in making it, that means that you know there's like one strike against it. Um, uh, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. But I didn't do. No, I, actually, I didn't actually imp if, have if, much input. If the about. movie actually had like, uh, uh, so I'm not that biased. If the movie actually had a plot, um, I would probably give it another. Uh, so well, I think it's set if up the for movie, a plot. But, if, if, but if, there's going to be more parts to it, and then you. Get well, more character if she would have flashed her boobs, I would definitely. It might turn out like something so like Lost. I'm gonna in five minute segments. Oh yeah, that, that, that's a good point. Sorry, I'm gonna give it. Character. I'm gonna give it three and a half mm -hmm. out of six stars. Um, I watched the entire thing. At no point did I was I like, bored. bored. You were um, never like, when is this gonna get over? The, <laughs> the fact that they call that guy a mathematician. Oh, yeah. Math magician. That was, cool. that was uh, pretty awesome. It was actually pretty entertaining. But even five minutes. Um, yeah, so I give it three and a half out of six stars. I give it three and a half out of five. I was gonna give it three, but I think the blonde bumped it up a half a star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was gonna, I was and gonna, the, and the effects too, are pretty good. Yeah, but I was gonna give it yeah. three, and she bumped it up a half a star. She yeah. would have. Bring Just back Eld Melvin. Peace! <laughs> <laughs>